Welcome back guys and uh, hope everybody had a great week. So I am out here working on the car. Um, pretty much the next day from the last video you guys watched. But uh, I'm sitting here staring at this thing and I'm like, well, what can I do while I'm waiting on parts? And the one thing I did is I cleaned up my battery tray, my factory battery tray. Um, which if you guys didn't remember the reason that the battery is not going under the hood is because the factory battery tray is going to sit here and then that's where my speed factory catch can is going to sit which i was going to install the catch can basically just you know get just get it set in here but then i remembered i got to run the engine harness through here and that would just be in the way so scratch that idea but i did get the uh battery mounting bracket cleaned up but as I was standing over here, like, I was like moving this harness out of the way. I'm like, what is this thing? I'm like, this thing's annoying. Like, I wish it wasn't here or went the other direction. And I'm like, oh yeah, I was gonna wire tuck these headlight harnesses and I kind of never did. So I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do today. And um, at least this side, the, the other side, I'm gonna do both sides, but um, I was looking and like this side, I started thinking back to my black car and I'm like, if I remember right, we like cut the wires and then fished them through this hole. There's a grommet back in there underneath the, the fuse box and we just fished them through and they, and they came through, but we cut the wires and then, um, you know, butt connected them back together or soldered them or whatever we did back in the day. And I'm thinking, why don't I just, you know, pull the lock out right down where each wire color goes pull the lock deep in the plug shove all the wires through repin the plug put the lock back in so i don't have to cut wires or any of that so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna work on getting these headlight harnesses tucked just so like this isn't a thing and it's not just dangling and this isn't a thing and this can all go away and be neatly done so that hopefully here when I do actually get my parts and I go and put the motor in, everything is smooth and I don't have to do that crap later. So I'm going to work on that right now and more than likely it'll just be a time lapse because nobody wants to sit here and watch me deep in like five plugs. So yeah, um, sit back and enjoy me doing this very quickly at hyperspeed.
basically done here I did have to cut the wires to this plug because I could not get this lock out and I couldn't figure out how it comes out and it drove me nuts so I finally just chopped the wires soldered them back together and then I use these little tie wraps tied it up it's kind of nice you know closer here it's underneath the fuse box where it comes in I mean like I have billet plugs to plug that grommet back there if you if i were to actually pull the harness into the car and then normally you cut like cut this boot out and you just feed the wires through here and then you run it down on the fender well here but i didn't feel like cutting this up i'm leaving the fuse box here anyways because i don't have like my old car we put it in the glove box well the glove box is right there and it doesn't fit really because of the cage i mean you guys can see, like, I, I cut it up, which I never knew this thing was, like, full of steel. It was a pain in the ass. And it's still, like, I could probably make it work, but uh, I probably ain't going in. So, there's that. Um, the catch can, like I said, I can't really mount it yet because I've still got to feed the um, actual engine harness through here. Um, but I just set it there because I needed, I wanted to make sure that those wires and everything back there was going to clear. So, I mean, it actually looks good in that corner. And then, um, I'm on that bracket, I pull that. But, you look down here, the headlight harness isn't running down, you know, along the tower here like it is from factory. So, this is basically the same way we did on my black car. Harness comes in here, it just goes right to the back of the headlight. And then all of this excess will get tucked up underneath the core support here. And you'll never even notice the headlight harness sitting there. Um, this side, basically the same thing. Um, I've got the harness coming through here. I can't figure out what this plug's for. I can't remember. But uh, that basically comes up to these two plugs here. I got to depend these, feed them through this hole. So they'll come down. But I'm trying to figure out, you know, the washer, the, wind, the wiper motor crap i mean I, I basically cut that plug and i don't have a motor in here anymore so i might as well just cut the plug and rip it out this i believe hooks to the engine harness if i'm not mistaken so one of these plugs does have to stay in the engine bay but i gotta verify that which is why i'm not really tearing into this side at the exact moment because i gotta look at the harness and it's getting late Kind of. I mean, it's not like super late, but I just need to eat dinner and before I get carried away and it's all of a sudden midnight or something, I should probably go and eat and whatnot. Um, another thing I noticed, like I set the headlights in here quick because you know, I wanted to check wiring, routing, and stuff like that. Um, but one thing I noticed when I was putting these headlights in is this one's actually broken. So, like, I'll just pull it out here. This one here, if you look at the back, it's all cracked, broken. It's cracked here, it's busted here. Like, it is what it is. I mean, could I still run it like this? Yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal. As long as that, you know, my blinker bulb goes in there or whatever, my corner light. It's not the end of the world. And if, if I remember right, these housings are cheap for this body style like you can get these headlights on ebay like for nothing so i'm gonna look into it and see what these cost because i'll probably just buy a new set 
at some point it's not priority right now obviously we got bigger fish to fry so it is what it is but there's my time lapse i know you guys didn't really get to see what i did too much but here you know like i explained it at the end it's tedious work sitting here deep pinning wires repinning wires like i'm not gonna sit there and hold a camera all the time so that's why you guys got a time lapse on that but if you got any questions on it put it down in the comments like subscribe the whole nine yards and uh i will see you guys next time peace never break always fight never quit do it right play the game win it life have no shame there's no time feel the pain let the grind i could change in my mind pick a lane commit and climb the only way to win it life i never miss that fact taking big swings bitch hand me the path put me